Windows smashed out of these police vehicles. It's happened in not one or two, but three local counties. And Channel 9 has learned a gun, ammunition, and a bulletproof vest have all been stolen. Take a look at some of the damage, and the SBI is now a part of this investigation, trying to figure out who's behind this. Our Dave Faraday broke this story on Twitter. He's live now at the Hickory Police Department tonight. Dave? And Scott, those break-ins did not happen here at police headquarters, where if you look behind me, you can see all the fencing here. They got surveillance cameras all over the place. Instead, it happened at the officer's homes. Follow me over here, where someone smashed their way into the back of their SUVs. You can see some of the damage to the patrol cars in Hickory. Stolen from some of the vehicles, police vest, a rifle, ammunition, even a police drone. One of the break-ins happened in this neighborhood in Longview, where neighbors are stunned by the news. It's, it's wild, you know, um, kids nowadays with guns and weapons and threats and things like that. It's, it's scary. Who is doing this? Where, what's happening to these supplies that they're taking out of these cars? We don't know if any of the officers' badges were stolen, but Channel 9 has learned in at least one of the five break-ins, police issued clothing was taken that had the Hickory Police Department's insignia on them. Longview police haven't had any of their patrol cars targeted, but aren't taking any chances either. We have uh, reached out to our, our officers and let them know to start taking in all weapons, uh, all bulletproof vests, and uh, any badges or anything that they may keep in their cars at night. In Burke County, someone tried to smash the driver's side window of this patrol car. They did get inside, but the sheriff says the deputy had heard about the earlier break-ins and removed everything from his car when he got home. Nobody wants uh, criminals out here uh, posing as law enforcement officers. So I would hope anybody would be willing to share any information that they have. And some of the officers I talked with earlier today believe that these items that were stolen out of the patrol cars are possibly being sold out on the street. Tonight, they're getting help from both state and federal law enforcement. Back to you, Scott. All right, Dave, thanks very much. Now, we did ask the Hickory Police Department if any officers were disciplined for leaving their equipment in their patrol cars. They say because it was a personnel matter, they just couldn't talk about it.